Hey guys, it's Edie, your video creation strategist, and I'm coming in with an update to a video that I did last year, literally about a year ago, and it was on Loom for mobile and specifically Loom for iOS devices. So I know a lot of you Androids got really bent out of shape because Loom only came out with a mobile app for iOS users, but now there's one for Android and there's a cool perk that you guys get that we don't and I'm gonna share it with you coming up next. Hey guys, welcome back. Like I mentioned, we now have Loom for Android. So I know a lot of you guys were feeling left out last year when they first broke with this Loom for mobile device or app I should call it and Android was like nowhere to be found. Well, they were working on it and now almost a year later or just about a year later, um, they now have the Loom for Android. So I just wanted to show you, you can come on to Google Play and you can see that the app is here. It's ready for you guys to install, but it has a perk. And I wanna share that perk with you guys. It pretty much works the same way as Loom for iOS. I'm gonna pull up my screen here and I have my phone in front of me. And then at some point, I'm gonna to have to get my other phone to help me record because I cannot, once I go into this mode, I'm not gonna be able to, to, you're not gonna be able to see it on the screen. So anyway, so let's actually, um, all right, I just needed to do a little bit of housekeeping before I got started. So anyway, so as you can see, there is something called Android Mobile Upload, and that is a test that I did. And I just wanted to make sure that this worked before I started to introduce it to the rest of the world. So this does work very similarly to the way that it works for iOS. But you guys on Android, and you know I'm not an Android person, I'm borrowing my husband's, one of my, mother, my husband's many phones. Um, to do this example, but you guys have a perk that we iOSers do not. And so I wanted to come in and share that with you. So the reason why you would want to use Loom for mobile is if you have some sort of an app or something that's on your phone that you want to walk through um, for someone else. You want to show someone how to use something. You want to show someone what's happening on your phone. If it's a thing that you need to deal with, with customer service, what have you, it could be personal or professional reasons that you may need to do it, but it comes in handy. I guarantee you, because I've definitely done this. Now, the other perk about using loop for mobile is that you have loom on your phone wherever you go. So if you're someone like me, I communicate with my VAs, I communicate with my clients a lot through Loom because it's a video messaging system as well. So someone can um, send me a question on Loom and say, this is a problem that I'm having. If I'm not at my computer, I can have access to, to it through my app and then be able to respond with a video or even showing them how to do it on their mobile device. So that's the reason why you would wanna do it. So in the event that you're confused. Now, how do you use um, Loom? So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is once you've loaded the or uploaded the application onto your computer, you've signed up, you have an account, all of that good stuff. If you're brand spanking new, you're not gonna see anything under videos or my videos or recent videos. It's gonna be blank for you. So this icon down here, the logo for Loom is what you're gonna to wanna to click on. And when you click on that, it's gonna give you two options. You have the option to just record your screen which is what the iOS device only allows you to do. Or with the Android, you can record your screen and your camera. So I am super jealous that you guys get to do this. So I'm going to tease that one right now. And as per usual, it does walk you through a couple of things that you need to do before you can get set up. So it's asking you to swipe down to control your recording. While recording, use the notification panel to turn your camera on or off, stop or delete your video. So you just click next. And then you wanna grant permission to record. So each permission is required to create a loom. We'll only access your screen, camera, and audio when, you're, when you start a recording. 
And so now I am ready. Oops. So it's asking, will I allow Loom to record? And I'm going to allow and then allow Loom to take pictures and record video. Yes, I am. So now I can automatically set this to always allow permission and then we're good. Record screen and cam. It's going to ask you if you want to start now and you can say yes. And for some strange reason on Android, you cannot see once I start uh, recording, you cannot see what I'm doing. So with that said, I'm now going to switch to my phone so that you can at least see what I got going on on my phone. So with my phone, I'm able to show you that you can move your bubble anywhere on the screen that you want. So I'm going to leave it up there in the corner. When you are finished recording, um, and I'm going to just come out of this just to show you that there are other things that you can do. Let's say you wanted to walk somebody through Amazon, you can scroll, you can do whatever it is that you need to do on Amazon. And then you can go into any other app that you want to go into. Like I said, the purpose for doing this is if you ever need to teach someone something, you want to walk through a problem either that you're having or you're trying to solve for your client or your customer. Now, once you have finished recording, this is capturing obviously your video and it's capturing the audio through the device itself. Once you are finished, all you have to do is come up to the top, pull down your notifications, and then you see here, it says Loom recording in, pro in progress. It tells you for how long you've been recording, gives you the option to delete it, and then it tells you that your camera is on. You can turn it off if you like. Um, let's turn it back on. And then when you're ready, you can stop it. Now, once your video has been recorded, it will upload to Loom in the library and you will see it in the My Videos section of your app and you'll be able to get access to it after that. Be a little bit patient. It does take a couple of seconds or minutes depending on how big of a file it is that you're uploading. And that's all that you need to do. So please go ahead, download that app and let me know what your feedback is, especially for you Android users. iOS users, if you guys have not started using it yet, shame on you. Go and check out my Loom for iOS uh, video on my library and there's gonna be a link to that in the description below. As always, if you like this video, if you found it helpful and useful, hit the like button. Definitely share it with anyone that you think might find it helpful as well. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you'll get notified every time I release a new video each and every week. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please post them in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys and getting any kind of feedback with regards to the content that I'm providing to you on my YouTube channel. And until next time, thanks as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.